Hi, I'm Fabrizio from Fairfield and I'm here to introduce you our filament extrusion system. It allows to create 3D printing filament starting from industrial pellet, shredded old prints or plastic weights such as bottle cups. Our extrusion system is composed by two machines, Fairfield Evo the extruder and Fairfield Spooler which is a winder. As you can see it is very small and can be placed on every desktop, at home or in a lab. Let's have a look together. Today we are going to make recycled PETG that comes from all 3D prints shredded. First of all, we have to align the extruder with the fan array and the spooler and then we turn them on. It will immediately start a calibration that brings the distribution to its zero point. Now we have to fill the hopper. and place the spool. PETG we set medium mode and the diameter we would like to do. It can range from 0.5 to 3 mm. Then we have to set the distribution travel according to the spool used. We have first to align the eye bolt to the beginning of the spool and press the knob, then we have to line the eye bolt to the other end of the spool. Ok, now we can set the extruding temperature on the field EVO, which for PET is about 210 degrees. And it starts eating. Just a tip. In order to extrude many polymers, you have to dry them first. In order to do that, you can use a food dryer. It takes about 10 minutes to reach the temperature. When it reaches the temperature, we can set the gear motor speed. All we have to do is to put the filament, watch out, it's hot, through the fan array. into the diameter sensor, between the rotating wheels and, at the end, on the distribution eye bolt. When we see that the filament is constant, we can fix it on the spool. Now we leave it run. When we need to stop the extrusion, we have just to stop the extruder motor and then cut the filament. The spooler automatically stops to run. Ok, this is how our system works, but why should you use it? I'll give you three reasons. The first one is that you can save up to 60% starting from industrial pellet rather than buying new spools. The second one, it respects the environment. Indeed, you can recycle your old prints and turn them into new usable filament. Third, you can experiment with it, testing new materials that are not already in the market. And for today that's all, if you want to know more you can visit our website or contact us, thank you!